So astronomers have spotted about a dozen mysterious explosions in space, and no one really knows what they are or why they're happening. At the moment, they occur about 200 million light-years away. But what if, one day, they get much closer to our planet? Now this all started back in 2018. One day, telescopes saw a giant boom far away in space. That explosion was incredibly bright, about 100 times brighter than a normal star explosion, called a supernova. The strange thing was that normal supernovae take weeks or even months to fade away. But that one went from kaboom to poof, gone, in just a few days. It got extremely hot and huge, about the size of our whole solar system, and then vanished like it never happened. Scientists were seriously confused. Now, they named the explosion the cow, because its official name was too long and not exciting at all. Since then, astronomers have been hunting for more of those oddball explosions. And indeed, they've found a few more and given them weird animal names, too. That's how we got the koala in 2018, the camel in 2020, the Tasmanian devil in 2022, and the finch, or the fawn, in 2023. All of those are part of a strange group called LFBOTs. This stands for Luminous Fast Blue Optical Transients. Luminous means they're super bright. Fast because they happen and disappear really quickly. The blue color results from their temperature. They're super hot, like 72,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And optical transients means they show up in visible light and don't stick around for long. Even now, the scientists are still scratching their heads trying to figure out what's causing these bizarre space flashes. It's like the universe is playing a mysterious game, and no one knows the rules yet. At first, scientists thought those space explosions were failed supernovae. That's when a star tries to explode, but instead collapses in on itself, kind of like a balloon popping inward. That collapse can create a black hole in the middle that will eat the star from the inside out. But recently, a new theory has popped up, and it's even cooler and creepier. It has to do with black holes, super-squished leftovers from exploded stars. They're so powerful that even light can't escape their clutches if it gets too close. That's why they're totally dark and impossible to see directly. Now, some space scientists think that unknown black holes, not too big and not too small, might be pulling in stars that get too close, which produces those explosions. Such holes are called intermediate mass black holes, and no one has actually seen one of those yet. They're like space's biggest mysteries, and we'll try to solve it in a few minutes. But after that, you need to know that a new LeftBot has shown up in space. It was spotted by a telescope in Liverpool and is currently called AT2024WPP. Yep, scientists still haven't picked an animal name, but they're thinking maybe the wasp. What do you think of this name? Share it in the comments. Anyway, one of the scientists is sure that it's the best one since the cow. The most recent space explosion is super interesting and extremely bright, like me. <laughs> Maybe the brightest one since this whole left bot thing began in 2018. This new wasp boom also doesn't look like a failed supernova. And still, scientists are checking all the data just to be sure. Now, scientists are pretty sure mid-sized black holes that could cause the explosions must exist somewhere. It's like knowing a secret creature might be hiding in space, but no one has gotten a photo of it yet. Some scientists think that this idea is the most exciting, and that it might even help explain dark matter, one of the biggest mysteries in the entire universe. Well, whatever the truth is, a recent discovery might shed light on the existence of mid-sized black holes. The thing is, when it comes to black holes, space has a few different sizes. Small, super huge, and something in the middle. The small ones are called stellar mass black holes. They're around 5 to 50 times heavier than our sun. The giant ones are called supermassive black holes. Makes sense. They're millions or even billions of times heavier than the sun. They usually hang out in the middle of galaxies. And then, there's the mysterious kind in between called intermediate-mass black holes. Those are like the missing link of black holes. Scientists are pretty sure they should exist, 
but we barely know anything about them, like where they came from, how they grow, or what they're made of. Good news! That mystery might finally be getting solved. Thanks to several new studies, scientists now have some exciting new clues. Researchers have found waves in space, which are called gravitational waves, that seem to come from black holes smashing into each other. And not just any black holes, but ones that are 100 to 300 times heavier than the Sun, which may mean that they're those mysterious mid-sized black holes. Plus, those are the biggest black hole collisions we've ever recorded on Earth. Now, Black holes are like space fossils, super old history clues. And those newly discovered black holes could tell us about the first stars that ever lit up the universe. The problem lies in the fact that our tools on Earth, like LIGO, which stands for Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, whew, only catch a tiny moment of these black holes crashing together, literally just a split second. That makes it tough to figure out where those medium-sized black holes come from. So scientists have a new plan. One scientific lab is getting ready for a future space mission called LISA, short for Laser Interferometer Space Antenna. It's a cool space project by NASA and the European Space Agency, launching in the late 2030s. LISA will float in space and be able to catch the whole story of black hole crashes, not just the final boom. It will track black holes years before they crash into each other. And, if all goes well, we might finally figure out where these mysterious black holes come from and learn even more about how our universe began. So you might be wondering about how LISA will do it. Remember we talked about ripples dashing through space called gravitational waves? Black holes crashing into each other could send them out. Well, LISA is being built to listen for such waves. It'll float in space and look for all kinds of cosmic shakeups, not just huge ones, but also smaller black holes spinning around giant ones. Now, why do gravitational waves matter? A lot of space stuff is too dark to see with regular telescopes, since no light comes from it at all. But gravitational waves don't care about light. They go through everything, telling us about the secrets hiding in the dark parts of the universe. By studying them, scientists hope to learn about things we've never seen before, like black holes, or what really happened at the very start of the universe, and maybe even things we don't know exist yet. LISA will help us figure out how the universe began, how it's changing, and what it's made of. Now, getting back to those black hole collisions, finding them isn't easy. But researchers have come up with a smart solution. They're using artificial intelligence to make sure the signals from space aren't messed up by noise from Earth or the machines themselves. This work was part of a project focused on combining AI with space science. Scientists are getting more confident that intermediate-mass black holes, the ones in between small and supermassive, are real. And they might be some of the most exciting things we can study using gravitational waves both from Earth and from space. So the next big step? Looking to the Moon. Future detectors placed on the lunar surface could be even better at catching certain types of space waves, especially ones that Earth-based machines might miss. That would help scientists figure out where those black holes dwell in space. Besides this research, scientists are also planning human exploration of the Moon. They're helping NASA choose the best spots for future missions, focusing on big science goals like solar physics, space weather, and how the universe works. Right now is a super exciting time not just for studying black holes, but also for connecting space exploration and science. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.